Hello everybody, this is Jesse from NAPCO Tech Support. And today in this video, we're gonna go over the Firelink programming website. You will first go to the website, firelink.napco.com, and you're gonna log in using your Starlink login, uh, your dealer ID, password, and you're gonna need a radio ID number. The radio does need to be running a certain version of firmware, so always check the website to make sure it's running the latest version. Next, once you have that info, you click Submit, and if it's your first time, you will pick your panel configuration, your master security code for the Firelink Pro panel. You can also do the other Firewolf panels with a Starlink radio. Type in our master code. And click Save. Now, once we're in the panel programming, it's, if you're familiar with our quick loader software, it's very similar. Um, remote enunciators is where you would add your additional fire keypads. You click enabled. As you can see, number one is already enabled, and that's the one that's in the integral display. So if you were adding additional ones, you would just check off the box, and you could give them a description. User codes is where you would manage your fire user codes, who is allowed to have access to the system. EZM assignments, if you're using EZMs, this is where you enable them, for the fire or NAC extender. Uh, RF receiver slash SLC, if you're adding SLC or RF to the panel, this is where you enable those and addresses one through four for RF and addresses one and two for uh, SLC. They do need to be in order, so you would have to add them in order to keep adding an additional one. Zone assignments, this is where you would program your zones. If you do notice when you pick a Firelink panel type, um, it will load the default Firelink panel program into the website and you can make changes from there. System options for supervisor auto reset and enable the FIM. If it's a Firelink, you're going to have that automatically enabled. Central Station Reporting, this is where we can program our phone numbers, IP addresses, and everything to send signals to the Central Station. NAC Output Assignments, this is where we can program our different NACs for different options. NAC Output Options, and we can make events if we need for relays and other things. Primary status and control is you, you can do an upload of the panel to see what the status of the zones are and same with your panel event history. Once you have all your programming set and it's error free, this is where you will go to download it to the panel. Now it's important to remember when you're doing Firelink programming that it's a Orge MC, it's a new panel that's either out of the box or defaulted. There's no uploading from the panel into the site because it doesn't have every single option available that we can in the panel because it's a very powerful platform. Again, you would need Quick Loader for that. So there's no uploading and all the programming is stored in the, um, in the website. Once you're done, also and you have your programming, you can always create a restore point so you can go back to it if you have ever made any changes um, that needed to go back to, to something original. Now, just to review, we went over a brief overview of the Firelink programming website. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.